Welcome to the Kendi and Rainbow Podcast, episode 98, recorded in Anderson's Tremendous Event Centre. All right. <laughs> on that note, <laughs> and on that note, lads, I could be sitting here in an awful day for the rest of this. Sure, it is what it is. It's a dirty, pucky old, soury old, kind of wet old, kind of a damp, damp, kind of, kind miserable, of a, kind of a dry, kind Moist. of a, a kind of a humid, kind of a cold night. Mm. And we're sitting again in Anderson's tremendous event centre, lads. Episode ninety-eight, and we have a special guest sitting about twelve He's meters away from back. us. Social distance, folks. Don't outside, forget, folks. Mind, outside, socially distance. Mind the elderly. Mind we the collectivism. <laughs> we have Tabby Callahan sitting over the other side of the room. Tabby, it has been a long time since we've seen you, boy. Welcome. It's been ages, hasn't it? I know. It's. You know what feels the weirdest about it is that for the first like three months of this lockdown thing yeah and me you sean and Dwayne were on the video calls with the sunshine and i was drinking fucking iced lattes and we were chatting to each other all the time oh, on videos yeah, yeah. i felt so uh, cosmopolitan <laughs> and then <laughs> and then the cold dark motherfucking winter hits and no one wants to be doing that in their chat oh, to yeah, anyone that's like, how no one I really wants a nice life though is it yeah okay in oh, terms yeah. of what like i don't know i just kind of get a kind of a Edward Cullen, Twilight kind of a vibe. <laughs> because it's it's want to be out at night and I'm running through the forest and it's dark and wet and I just. Well, it's interesting to say that actually because the one thing I will say about the dirty, rotten, cold, dirty bastard winters is I prefer walking abroad in it. I just love getting the the weed clothes on, you know, wrap it up in the winter gear and heading out for a walk at night. Like, well, there's two in types the winter. of people. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Do you like getting the clothes on, the feeling that, or do you like getting home and getting the wet ones off? No, I like getting them on and going. And you know when you walk out the door and I'd have the heat blaring, man. There may as well be 10 fires inside in the house or uh-huh. in the wintertime in Kendi's house, right? And I'd have the heat blaring and you walk out the door and you feel, you go, oh, jeez, that's fucking cold. Yeah. And then you go, I better, you feel alive. I better get walking. Yeah. You feel I better, alive. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I've been doing do. cold showers now for the past uh, 11 days. Oh, jeez, I don't know if I could yeah. do that. Sorry, all I'm doing is, ah, what? <laughs> that's all, I'm just sitting here just making Array, reactions. There's a need for that. We need it. Ah, I'm, the, I'm the hype man. I'm, I'm a hype man. You're the, uh, what guy? He's the best. He's <laughs> the best of it. <laughs> But come here, are you doing cold, cold showers or are you walking I'm doing in? Next, I'm doing right next to uh, basically uh, Irish immersion uh, <laughs> type cold showers. Right, okay. AKA, it doesn't work. Yeah, right, okay. Freezing. But, and so you're not even taking the first, because sometimes no, I do get I, an I awful notion. Do I know what you're going to say. Yeah. You mean go in warm and yeah, finish on cold. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I go straight into Baltic. Why? Jesus. Because it takes me about half an hour to find me flute after it. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to make time for that. So are you just trying to fill up the day with activities? Is this? <laughs> <laughs> Takes me that about to get me nuts down from me dances. Um, yeah, no. this, that's the thing about it. It's not even just that the flute goes small. I know we're kind of half changing something. Happen to you. No, no, but it's the bag. It's the bag that's the oh, real problem walnut. with that. Oh, my God. Walnut it just, whip. Som- sometimes I have to go, have I only one ball here? This oh, thing is shriveled up into I one know, little, well, man. One perfect round package. I Jack. know. And it's, it's perfect, like, it's almost like, um, oh, yeah, like a Ferrero Rocher yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with the wrapping on. <laughs> <laughs> and it's even got the wee beanie bits where the hairs come out. <laughs> Ladies, we'd like to welcome you to episode 98, where we discuss... Because the ambassador loves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love oh, it. Stop. So that's but what I've been doing for the last 11, 12 but days. But what is the real reason? It's not obviously to find your flute No, afterwards. do you know what it was? I'll be honest, because I was just starting to feel a bit lethargic and fed up. I had planted all the fucking vegetables I could. I had painted <laughs> all time the, of the year. The house. <laughs> yeah. I had repurposed all the shite I could find. I had yeah. basically used up all the screws and nails that were <laughs> left over from the people who lived there before us. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing about you is is that you're definitely a person, from what I know, who needs intent, which is why every every couple of months you come to me and saying, I'm doing this new thing, Mark, and this is what yeah, it I is. Need, like, I need a mission, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Like, so, but I was re- reading up on Wim Hof and the breeding thing and the cold exposure, and uh, so I just said, you know what, I'm going to start doing this for the crack. And I have to say, within three days, actually, I started feeling a difference. Did you? Oh, yeah. For well, I'll tell, I'll tell you an interesting one, right? I had a corn on the inside of, I don't know what the toe is, if there's a name for it, the stratus meridius. <laughs> the toe next to the baby toe. Uh, that's okay. it. Yeah, right, the stratus, the stratus meridius. Yeah, the, right. the least yeah. talk about toe. Right. <laughs> yeah, don't exactly. Speak up. Finally, yeah. someone speak it up. Yeah, the, it's always the, kind of like the middle child that's just forgotten. <laughs> yeah. But um, So I had a corn in that toe for about six months. And uh, I, I, I just couldn't be arsed to do anything with it, to be honest yeah. with you. I was like, ah, it'll be fine. What's a corn? Sorry, it's basically I'm like a, It's like a thickening of the skin. It's kind of a bacteria. You'd pick it up on a swimming pool floor. Or oh, on yeah. a, oh, a veruca. Yeah, like a veruca. Yeah, like yeah. a veruca. Yeah. Yeah. I used to be Except afraid of them when like I was young. <laughs> I didn't know like what the word. Like a veruca. Veruca was the COVID I was as a teenager. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like you put the word them gammy white socks or you get a veruca. <laughs> yeah. A corn is like a veruca with a political agenda. You know what I mean? 
It's just that bit nastier. <laughs> right, okay. But, I'm uh, with you. So anyway, but since I started taking the cold showers, I noticed within about four or five days that I started to heal up. Right. No and that was one of the promises of doing the cold showers. Right. Was that it, it activates your autonomic nervous system, that there are all these bajillions like I don't know what your man said I may be they're firing Every, they're firing here. at all cylinders the blood yeah, is everything, yeah. up and boiling basically, down basically we're pussies <laughs> right in yeah. a nutshell because of heating and warm mm -hmm. houses we're pussies and yeah. the body basically goes dormant and when you take cold showers in the morning it boom activates everything fires up all of your things your things <laughs> all the bits <laughs> all the bits and next thing you know everything's working better right. and she lived happily ever after okay Beca because I can't really like I know I said I go for cold walks but I, I can't handle the freezing cold you think that and yeah but I do often think what about boys about 500 years ago in Norway who had a fucking oh, sheepskin jacket on yeah. and that was it like oh, and they'd compared. occasionally fall into the water yeah they weren't Depression. they weren't worrying about the fucking imagine how depressing it was I know but, <laughs> but they were probably happy though <laughs> Well, like, you like don't you're know what to do. That's why I always say, you know what I always fucking say, right? <laughs> is that with someone, you know, when you give out about something and yeah. someone says to you, Irish, or what about these? They're way worse off. It's all perspective. Like, so in their perspective, they didn't know any better. They probably thought, this is the best thing ever. I only lost two toes this winter. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but the big, big benefit of it is, do you know that kind of lazy, like, about kind of. Between half six and eight in the evening, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you're sitting down. You've just you've made your way through all the nice biscuits in the house, <laughs> and all that's left is the shitey pink wafery ones <laughs> at the bottom. <laughs> and nuts. worse than that, they're the Aldi version of it. Uh, oh, and you're sitting there. And you, Carnation Street's finished. These standards oh. coming on. No, I don't watch that shite, to be honest with you. I'm <laughs> the normal guy. Uh, and you kind of have that laziness where you're thinking, God, I'd love to be fit, or God, I'd love to be this, or I'd love mm -hmm. to do that. Mm -hmm. Do you know that kind of laziness? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so like that, like you'd shit in the bed and kick it out with your left foot. That kind of laziness, <laughs> right? Well, cold showers is amazing for that because it, it helps. If you can have a cold shower in the morning, you can do anything after yeah. that. And even if you have a cold shower in the evening, they might give you a wallop for the next four hours that you have to stay awake and do a bit for. But that's what it does. Yeah. Oh, well, that's what it does, yeah. Right. Might, it, should we try it? Well, hold on now. First of all, if the I'm... The 10-day cold... That's what you should do, boys, and video it. Yeah. <laughs> I have a problem From the next straight up. away. Why? Well, we have a shower in the house, mm -hmm. right? And it's one of them electric showers. Oh, yeah. But no matter which way, I mean, you can't turn it far enough to get cold. You'll get mediocrely cold, but not full-on cold. Well, why don't you get Sean O'Reilly to stand above you with a watering can? I have a better idea. Go on. They're in, uh, this is only work now on days when it's raining. Okay. But up the street from the house, there is an Eve Run bushed on, uh, at a three-story building opposite the Garda station. A what? An Eve Run. What's an Eve Run? Yeah, oh, my God. I guess. Come have on. you not heard of e I is there no, come an on. Eve run? An Eve run is, is that, I think oak. that's a kind of a is that a kind of a castle bar kind of a thing or is that <laughs> <laughs> It was all based on the girl called Eve and she used to run places. She was running from Adam yeah. because Adam met the apple and got them in trouble. <laughs> no. Yeah, she was hiding out in Swinford. No, no. <laughs> an Eve run is a yoke that collects the water on the edge of a of a slatted roof. Oh, right, what do you okay. mean? A gutter. An, you mean an Evron? An I know what you mean. <laughs> Oh, we don't say Evron, we say Evron. Evron, yeah, Evron. Oh, yeah, of course. Or a gutter, do. as they call it. Yeah, it's a gutterus, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but an Evron, anyway. There's an Evron broke, anyway, down up. It's the Garda station, and there's a really marvellous spray of water that comes down on the footpath. Oh, ah, lovely. Yeah. So yeah, I was yeah. thinking if I go up there in my boxers, I could have a cold shower well, there. What you could do is, what time do you finish work of a, of a Monday? Of a Monday, all depends. Now that I'm remote working, it's very flexible. Brilliant. But around half five, six. Okay, what you want to do is get out during the day yeah. for an hour, yeah. straight out to the point. Right. Straight in in your Yes. Side. There we go. We oh, were yeah, doing no, it all last year. Yeah. Me and Mark, I'll tell you, yeah. we were the men. We, yeah, but our chests were out the hair. <laughs> the balls were down at the knees. We felt <laughs> amazing about ourselves. Yeah, but the thing about that is I stopped doing that the second, like, October hit. And uh, I couldn't, like, I was like, how could you face Ross's point? I couldn't do it in winter? July, never mind. Would well, you, you go out there and you see an old 85-year-old in, in, a, in a bikini straight <laughs> yeah, in? Yeah, like, oh, yeah. 20, 20, <laughs> was it like 20 miles offshore, yeah, yeah. there's like an oil rig. Anyone caught without their survival suit will be sentenced and deducted wages. Yeah, Meanwhile, yeah. in the shore, there's an old one out. Yeah, and she's smoking a fag in the water, like doing the bag, <laughs> yeah. fucking, doing the bag stroke. Doing the bingo numbers yeah. in the water. That's yeah. the thing. I, I'm sorry. I just don't think I, I don't think it's good crack. You don't I don't want to be I tried that in the middle of summertime, getting into the water. No, it, on a sunny day. The cold and it was, ray, when you do it, man, I'm telling you, something yeah. something mm. happens. I find that you end up just shouting at each other when you're in there. You because are, you end up just going, ah, that's all you do. Other. I know. 
I you, just, you just he, shout I hate my life for 20 minutes <laughs> <laughs> hate my life I hate my life yeah. but there's some people better than I am now I be tiptoeing around the thing a good bit like when I get in you know mm. the people that hold the arms up like that ha, ha, like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the one who hold their balls as if it's going to make a difference <laughs> that's me as if holding them is going to stop <laughs> yeah, the water know, getting yeah. at them uh, cups it's, it's just, it protects them <laughs> straight in just but straight in the though, because the sack is the first thing you go for hot or cold because if I'm dipping into the bath, I let my arse go in first before my balls to test how hot the water is because yeah. I won't dip the them in. The second it hits the balls, man. It's oh, yeah. Because then you're into skittle territory. I'd be holding them up. I'd be holding them up above my belly button. Like. Sorry, can you explain that last phrase? Skittle territory. Yeah, you're into skittle because you walk in, right, yeah. in your own mind yeah. with snooker balls. Yeah. As soon as you hit the water, skittles. <laughs> skittles. <laughs> <laughs> two, two purple skittles. Two purple skittles. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it's really good. So you should try that. I mean, if you wanted to do it, I'd do it with you. If there was a group of us doing it, that would give me the cojones to go and do it again. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. I would do it with you Be- if you wanted. It, it certainly is the drive from buys that make you go. Because like, we were on a good run of it for a long time there in yeah, the summer or whatever. We, we, but the crack we'd have just talking shit out yeah, there. It falls, by, it falls by the wayside. Like Did I hear uh, uh, that you had a tradition then of bringing a flask of tea with you to warm up at the, at the edge of the sea yeah. afterwards? Well, here's the thing, right? Because hmm? what we would do is we'd get into the water for about a minute. Yeah. And then we'd chat for about an hour right. outside drinking tea, like. Yeah. But isn't that beautiful too, though? Certainly do you know what different. I mean? I mean, like, that is what it is too because there's camaraderie in that way. Mm. In by you standing around drinking tea. Mm. Oh, and it's absolutely. a simple thing too, you know what I mean? Absolutely. You can, all of us just built like Irishmen. And, like, <laughs> you, can, you can talk about every problem in the world and not get a solution for any of them. But it doesn't matter, though. And you so, know, yeah. you're just sitting there chatting oh, wallop, time, like. Yeah. But it's great crack, and so like that's what it, that's just, you know. I mean, that's essentially what I've been doing the last while, and just trying to do a bit of training in the house, and just trying to keep myself just you know. I, is it hard? You're a big boy for the gym now, Tab. Yeah. I mean, wh- where are you working out in the house inside in the studio, like? Well, I'm working out psychologically and emotionally, <laughs> um, lifting spiritual weights, like oh. the weights of my feelings and my emotions. And your ancestors. And they are so heavy. Seriously. <laughs> I've got like si- uh, siceps. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, what am I doing? I just have a few weights in the house and have a pull-up bar. And have, uh, uh, what else do I have? I have these yokes. I never use them, but they look amazing. They're called <laughs> perfect push-ups. I think oh, a lot of people have these yokes. Oh, these that yokes that you'll be twisting yeah, on you. Yeah, they're amazing They're looking. like all, uh, what do they call that curling thing in the in the Olympics with on the ice? The, oh, that's no, exactly the what they look like. And so what I do is when anyone calls at a house, I put them on the uh, put them on the, <laughs> put them on the shelf in front of the door. <laughs> so people come in and go, oh, wow, you're doing that? Yeah, I just did 100 <laughs> earlier on. Gives me that kind oh, of, you know, yeah. hip, hip yeah. guy. Hey, he's fit, hip, and positive. <laughs> yeah. Or I want to be around him. But yeah. you are, fuck. I tell you one thing about Tabby now, boy. You're fit as a fiddle, though. And I've never know. seen you out of shape. And I've never seen you without now, Jackie Tan. Well, hold on a minute now. Go on. As much as I love the compliments, and I'll take them here all day. <laughs> it's the first compliment I've had in about eight months. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I tell you, I'm compliment <laughs> drunk now. <laughs> 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 right? I was, I only found this out the other day. Started just before the lockdown, I was 11 and a quarter, just under 11 and a quarter stone. Okay. Right. I'm 12 and a half stone now. Yeah, but is that muscle or fucking... Yeah, relaxed muscle. <laughs> 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 no, I have a wee bit of a Ned Kelly and yeah. a few and a couple of two wee, two wee handles on the side. Oh, yeah. They're good for holding on to in certain circumstances. But they're, but they're, kind of, they're, they're not like big handles. They're be like eye handles. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. sleek and skinny and <laughs> yeah. modern. Yeah, they're there, but they're not working. But I do have a wee bit of a belly. now. But I am losing it again now. What I noticed there was in the middle of the lockdown, I was sitting down one day mm. and... Uh, I don't know, I was like, what the hell? <clears throat> I didn't feel right, and I kind of was chatting to Anne, and next thing, I actually, I heard a thing go, bloop! <laughs> and I phone. looked down, and it was me gut that just popped out from <laughs> under my trousers. <laughs> <laughs> and I swear, it was just looking up at me going, how are you? <laughs> and it was almost saying like, uh, how are things? <laughs> yeah, I know. How are you it's, getting on? It always happens. I said that like a couple of episodes ago when you're watching the television and you start slouching down more and more and then you realise, geez, I have to look out over me gut to see this oh, fucking TV. Oh, yeah, like. it just pops out. Yeah, it comes and then, out. But then, you see, the wor- you, have to, you, you have to do something about that at that point because then you get what's called the two-foot crotch. <laughs> well, you know the one where you have to pull the trousers <laughs> up to your chest? <laughs> because that area gets <laughs> higher and higher every time. <laughs> Kenny, you sound like a man that knows <laughs> no, what he's talking it's about. It's so frustrating, man. I've noticed, right, especially during lockdown, I haven't put out a fortune away, right, so let's not fucking pile on Kenny here for a second. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Kenny's piled on himself. I've noticed that. 
<laughs> there is that thing where right above me Mickey, right? So I call it Mickey Roos, right? The mm-hmm. real tip of your Mickey. There's a flat surface there. Yes. Where the pubis might grow, usually. If <laughs> you, you, are, you want about the putting green. Good, yeah, I want about the putting a good green. crop yeah. of pubis. Yeah. Right? So that area there now, which is well, you know, basic upkeep, well intact on me. But <laughs> that's so flat. And then there's the little bit then, it ju- all of a sudden it just goes out and up. Yeah. And I don't know where to put my pants, above it or below it. You have to go it. below it. It'd oh, be sh- yeah. No, but it'd be sh- I-, I prefer putting it up above it, but Why? it'd just be yeah. sliding down below it, yeah. man, down it, to yeah. the Mickey Roos. The trouser wants to be there. <laughs> yeah, it does. Right? The it trouser does. likes it there. Yeah. <laughs> but the mind doesn't. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I'd be pulling it up above and top of my belly button, and I said this last week on the episode, like, because I don't like me pants sagging at the back, but when it's below that wee belly there, it just okay. be sagging abroad in the back, and the more I pull it up, the more it just. But well, you could take up. the hip hop approach. What's that? And just go below everything. <laughs> yeah, but and that's say, leave the two of them arguing, right? The <laughs> putting green and 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 the upper the and upper and belly the area. Do with it. <laughs> and just go right down above the knee. Yeah, oh, that so could be the right be showing way. Yeah, the whole the whole kit and caboodle. I will. I you know. I might say. But I it might is actually... awkward though. The only thing is, don't look at yourself from the side. <laughs> <laughs> I did that a while ago, and I actually, I, you know what I actually look like, honestly, like a watermelon with chopsticks <laughs> put into it. Right, I have I that image like. now. And then that was, oh, I'm talking six loop de loops a night for about six months. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so Would much money. Pilots loops? like speed ramps after it. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, that's how they affect. They don't. They don't agree with me at all. No, loop, loop, loop. But, you, oh. but that's like your crypto. Slow though. down. You, you want to have plan. It. Well, the key is in the name, though. In fairness, like you can call own. them loop the loop, loop for nothing. Yeah. Loop the hoop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can so, I ask uh, a tabby? Huh? Would you found now? Would you wear a belt buckle? I don't wear a belt buckle anymore because I'm one of those weird ones, right? Some guys can wear the jeans really low and look good, yeah. right? I'm one of those ones where I'm kind of like Ken Kendi in that way. Yeah. I'm kind of between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't know which way to go. I'm in belt purgatory. Like, <laughs> I don't want the trouser too high. Yeah. yeah. Because I don't want to look like I have a short tors- torso. <laughs> okay. But I don't want them to- too low either because then the Ned Kelly is showing. Yeah, that's right. the thing. Yeah, because you want to cover that in. Like, you so you're kind of going around with your stomach kid. held all night. How are things? <laughs> but you hope nobody taps you in the <laughs> stomach. How's it going, Tabby? <laughs> <laughs> the whole all, it just, all it does is shove the weight up into your shoulders. <laughs> 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 yeah. But I do find now, because I I, I've, I think I've said this before too, is that yeah, I can't wear jeans now because we just didn't wear fucking jeans during lockdown. Oh, like, there was no need to. I'm wearing tracks. So I can't believe you're wearing jeans now even. But if I put a jean on now, I'm either looking for it to have an elastic waist mm-hmm. or I'm always searching on the internet for elastic belts because okay. I can't be dealing with that tightness anymore with the wee Do you mean being friction. stuck on the third rung of the belt yeah. and being stuck there it's either that or the one that would literally you'd need to be <laughs> like a lollipop <laughs> yeah. why, why did it put two inches between every hole lads? we're all different sizes like. that's actually a really good idea why are the skimpy on holes? There's less belts they're selling. I mean, look at my watch save on my wrist now. There's a hundred holes on it, like in the yeah. right place. It should be like Why that. Why don't belts be like watches? I know. Well, lads, we could go for, for like we could go for the old Irish farmer approach, which is Fair you only had the belt in the front two loops yeah. held together. <laughs> yeah, you didn't yeah. bother with the whole waist. <laughs> yeah. You grabbed the front and pulled it yeah, into one area. <laughs> <laughs> now that, and that'd be better for the environment too yeah, Absolutely, that actually could be the right way to go Completely um, Come here, other than that though, right uh, We all asked around with music, right For the first six months of all the lockdown Telling everyone how great we were Look, I learned how to do videos online of music yeah. And then since then it's just been walloped into the ground No one really gives a fuck anymore yeah. Us included mm-hmm. So I want to find out what Tabby feels about if we're going to get back, if we're not going to get back, and what music is going to look like if we ever do get back. Because you might not know it now, lads out there. Tabby, a big dick abroad in the X Factor years ago, but me and him in the same business right now. I've caught him. I'm up as far as him. We all we do the same fucking gigs the whole time. Yeah. We either do weddings or we do gigs together, yeah. right? I don't do weddings. Weddings do me. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you feel it's going? What do we, like, are you worried? Are you fucking optimistic? I'm not optimistic. If we're being real, here are my concerns, right? My concerns are that a lot of the places we played in won't even be there yeah. after this lockdown. Big, that's probably the, one okay. of the biggest ones. And I don't want to play in a Witherspoons. I can't stand the idea of yeah. places like that. And you know well that they're lining up to, to roll them out across the country mm-hmm. as people lose their licenses. And I have a problem with that. Yeah. Because, you know, like, take Sligo, for instance. We don't have huge infrastructure here. Mm-hmm. What we have is culture. Okay? Big gigs never worked here. No. 
They just they didn't. Mm -hmm. But small gigs work brilliantly, and small gigs are by small venue owners, small pub owners, things like that. Like you know, we'll mm -hmm. say even like the, along the bigger ones here it, of the smaller ones would be we'll say fiddlers, mm -hmm. okay, or lilies or yeah. tricky's McGarrigals back in the day. Oh yeah, you know. Those those places are magic. Like w when people came from all over the world to those, they'd come to Sligo, they'd pop into our gig on a night. Yeah, they couldn't believe what they were watching on fucking any night as on well. On any night. And here's the thing as yeah. well. More so about it is that we lose that because I, I worked on the commercial scene for the most part. Like you know, doing gigs all in these big what you would consider Weatherspoons pubs. Like there are some of those in Ireland too that are just these big venuey things. Like, you mean the super pubs? Yeah. But and those people or the people that I gigged with in those places couldn't believe that. Are you telling me that if you go to Sligo, like there'll be boys playing every single night in every single pub, just tipping around, doing gigs, and that's what it is there, like? It worked. Yeah. So you don't reinvent the wheel. Something works, everyone's happy, job done. Yeah. Why do you need to, you know? So for me, that's a big part of it, that, that that's going to be gone. Um, a second part, too, is there's going to be this kind of a weird overhanging paranoia where people are like, excuse me. Yeah. Would you mind just backing off a foot, please? <laughs> <laughs> well, I got mean, that at the butcher's down collecting turkey on Christmas You mean a town full of Dwayne Gallagher's? Huh? <laughs> It'll be a town full of Dwayne Gallagher. Oh. <laughs> Can you please stand oh. back? Because you're getting very close to my Listen, liking. folks, we want you all to enjoy yourselves Sorry. and have a good yeah. night. <laughs> this is Dwayne pre-COVID, by the way, lads. This is like <laughs> But he was, that's why he was ahead of the game. Yeah, he knew this was he coming was through. He was, lads, you might like it now, but I need you to get used oh, to it. Yeah. He was thinking, you see, that hmm. fella. But, but the, I, I would have the exact same worries as you would, Trevor, is that these places won't be there again. Like, with, by the time all this is done, those places will be driven into the ground. Yeah. And then the big places might come and take them over. And then, sure, and then will people psychologically recover from this? Because we're talking about something that's never ha Like, okay, like, you would say that, and then some smarmy fuck it would be like, actually, well, 1924, Spanish yeah. the Spanish <laughs> flu took da 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 da. And uh, just get your facts right, like, do you yeah. know what I mean? That's what, that's what I'm saying. Oh, tinfoil hatter. Yeah, oh, yeah, my yeah. God. Oh. Well, that's what I said is the, the big thing nowadays is that you're not allowed to be uh, miserable about it because there's always someone worse. Out. Unless you're at the bottom of the barrel, you're not allowed to be miserable. Well, musicians are at the bottom of the barrel. Yeah, but no, no, we're not, though, because, like, I've had this argument. Not even an argument. I've just said, fucking tough, I'm musicians to someone. And they were like, well... Like, what about this one and this one and this one? I think they're way worse off. And you're like, oh, okay, I get it. They must be way worse off. <laughs> yeah. So I can't be miserable now. I can't be annoyed like about what's going on. Yeah, I don't like that either. That's kind of that relativism. I don't like. I don't like that because at the end of the day, if like none of us, you know, none of us are kind of huge earners, apart from myself, obviously. <laughs> obviously, yeah. Fair but point. yourself, Candy, now would be, you know. Uh, I, I, <laughs> close I'd second. About, close I'd, second. I'd make about 90% of the Here, listen, raise the work in the tax office. Don't say too much in front of him. <laughs> right? He, the he know, Ray knows everything that both of us have ever I heard. Know, That's well, the shy thing about this. He's heard it all before. <laughs> but, um, no, but we're not. We were, like, musicians, for the most part, earn enough to get by. Yeah. And uh, most of what they earn, like, I'm not saying most, but a good, a good percentage of what they got out of it is the kind of camaraderie, the kind of social interaction. And of, the, you know, the, the kind of getting to do something that you really like doing. Yeah, you enjoy doing. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you might be miserable at a gig, but you, st you like doing that thing. It's a very easy job to do in that sense. Well, how many times have you heard this year, Jesus, I give it in the play Sweet Home Alabama now? I know. And the fuck it, I, I I, tell me know. that a year and a half ago, man. I would have tore the eyes out of my head having to play that song again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? So, I mean, it, yeah, I'm sure it'll change and evolve like everything does. Everything yeah. changes and evolves, and the people who are in the middle of it are always giving out. Fair enough. I'll accept that. Yeah. Maybe I'm one of them. But there is a right to give out, though. That's my point, is that you're allowed, you're allowed to be annoyed at what's happening. You, you can even agree with it and still be annoyed. Yeah. So we're locked down now. So I'm allowed to say, fucking Jesus Christ, am I ever going to get a fucking gig again? What the fuck is going on? But I also agree, yeah, maybe we should be locked down now. It, it's okay to work both ways there. Mm -hmm. And the relativity thing that you're on about is that we you can't have empathy for everything if you don't know what's going on. As in, like I can't have empathy for the bottom of the barrel because I will never know what it's like to be at the real bottom of the barrel. But I know what it's like to be in my situation. And I get fucking annoyed at my situation sometimes. Well, you do. And I think the whole country needs to remember that, by the way. Yeah, and we're human. Like, that yeah. you need we, to get annoyed with your situation. Yeah, let me be annoyed is what I'm saying <laughs> to the whole country. The whole country needs but, to remember this. <laughs> yeah, but the whole country needs to know it's let, you're allowed to be frustrated, so be frustrated out there. I think as musicians, like, you don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. You know, you're like, here we go, here's another live video. Yeah, like, here's another rendition of... Yeah. And then you, you kind of feel a bit sad, like, where you're like... You don't, like... You don't want to be forcing what you're doing on people either. Like, no. But you've no way to put on a thing for them to come to. Yeah, see, that's it. when it comes to people like me and you. Ray, I'll let you talk in a minute. Right? Thanks. <laughs> when it comes to people like me and you. There's another there, is there? <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to people like me and you, uh, like, we, we go out there as, like, entertaining people. Like, so 
we, you can do the online and the live videos and all that thing all you want, like. But yeah. people like want making pe- love in a wetsuit. Pe- yeah, or going into the bath with a pair of wellies on. Yeah. Like you, it, people want to go into into Andersons or into Lilies or into Fillers and see us play gigs, like. And that's always how we got. Well, away, they're coming like. in. Like, look, the way I see it is, it's like I never looked at it as we entertained the crowd. What I looked at it was, we had an entertaining time. And yeah. we, we enjoyed the crack with each other. Mm. Yeah. And because of that, people picked up on that and I helped them to enjoy themselves. Yeah, definitely. So everybody's in a kind of a space where the music's good, the crack is mighty, yeah. nobody's taking it too seriously. Yeah. Everyone's having a bit of a dance. Apart from Dwayne. <laughs> yeah. I was. Apart from Dwayne. Apart from Dwayne. Apart from Dwayne. Apart from Dwayne. <laughs> 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 oh poor old Dwayne He's gonna, I hope Inside he, he was dancing though. I you wouldn't have time to be listening to this now in fairness oh, man, You know what I used to do to him song. actually I feel bad now when I think about it in Lily's when uh, like say you know some nights you come in you, and you'd get you know a, a, you might get a drunk crowd from out of town it'd be just total head records yeah, it'd be falling yeah, yeah. all over you and farting on you and just Jesse hated the Northerners lads <laughs> but I used to send them over I used to send them over to his side look lads we want you to dance and have a good time but you need to do it over just in front of there and Dwayne would be looking at you you bastard <laughs> <laughs> I just, just sit back and wait for do it. You know, do you know what used to do with gigs, lads? Out there? It was fuck me. It used to drive me demented. I can laugh at it now, like, but at the time, I'd go, what the fuck? He'd say, I don't know it, right? Someone had asked for a song, and he'd say, look, I don't know it, but I think Mark knows it. There was <laughs> <laughs> or else I used to flip it and go, I know it, but the lads don't. Oh, that was way worse, actually. I can't remember. I didn't fucking remember that. That was the worst thing you could ever say. Like, He'd say over the mic, I know that song, but the boys don't know it. Like and you, oh my god! I used to want to punch <laughs> into the fucking jaw. <laughs> oh, that's the, but you know, it's like so. The very things we're talking about, we were lucky, and I and I'll acknowledge that too. We were very lucky to be able to do a job that ha- that involved all that. Yeah, you know, um, and that's I think what we miss really is the. It's kind of like training at home, like you know, everybody's got that set of weights that they hold the door open with. Or yeah. they have that weightlifting bench that they hang their clothes on and never yeah. do anything with, uh-huh. right? You'll never train right in the house. You've got to go out to train. Mm-hmm. And yes. it's the same with music. You've got to go out to do it right. Mm-hmm. Doing it at home, it's fine. Some people like that. There's the YouTube generation who yeah. kind of grew up in bedrooms playing computer games with inverted thumbs <laughs> because you're sitting in front of a screen all the time. That's just not... We, we just came in off the heels of the last generation that didn't really do that. Mm-hmm. So it's not very natural for me to be sitting in front of a screen mm-hmm. Doing a gig, playing to a wall. Like, like it is relatively enjoyable to do that, but you know that it's not what we need. You need to be doing, like. You well, know? human beings are social creatures. Yes. It's it's utterly unnatural. Can I interject now? Of course, can. Ray, you may say something. I'm going to say something now. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to do exactly what you expected me to do. Go on. I'm going to be the source of positivity in this here conversation. No, don't be too positive. <laughs> I I'm not t- look, I'm respecting your right to be miserable. Thank you, Ray. Thank All you right. for respecting my right to be miserable. I'm respecting your right to be miserable. Yeah. I don't. I'm not going <laughs> to argue with you. I feel it's perfectly fine. Go on. I'm just saying what you just said there about the whole. It's it's the innate human desire to be sociable and whatnot. Yeah. I I firmly believe that there will there will get to a point where, as a as a crowd of people, we get the other side of this. I think, and I think there'll be a situation where they'll want people will want to be back out in the company of other people. Yeah. yeah, that's and the I hope. Think, I think two things are either going to happen. Either the, the whole vaccination thing and all that jazz will bring about the herd immunity they're promising, or nice. not promising, they're, they're hoping for, Yeah. or we'll all get it, it'll filter its way through society, and it'll just be a thing we deal with more than any other illness that happens. Yeah. yeah. So one or the other, but what will happen is patients will run out with people. People will go, I'm sick of this, I've had enough, and everything will revert back to a new... A kind of a new landscape, but I don't think we'll have a situation where you're not going to have be- people listen to music in a pub. You only and do, do you think that there will be any kind of um, like a weird knockoff effect where people are a little bit cautious about even being in a pub with people? But I think those people that are cautious about being in a pub won't be in the pub. So yeah. I think it might just filter out some of the people you don't want in the pub. Yeah, because but what happens if all the cautious people are the beautiful people? <laughs> <laughs> All the hot babes are all the cautious ones, That's and then you're funny. like, yeah. the hot babes don't come in, therefore the fellas don't follow them. Yeah. Right. So you, the, where so would all these hot people actually hang out then? I don't know. Maybe in hot people places. I don't know. <laughs> well, like would you road. not think the party will happen up in the hot people place then? Yeah, but they won't be, because we just said they won't be hanging out right with anyone. They'll be hanging out on their own. Oh, on their own. So yeah. beautiful be, and hot on yeah, their own. Falling in love with themselves. Yeah, <laughs> but you know very well that hot, beautiful people don't like to be by themselves. 
Well, yeah, that's but, true too because it's it's like does a tree if a tree falls in the woods and no one's around to see it, does yeah. it fall? Yeah. But like if you're hot and beautiful, you want you want to be the main main thing you want when you're hot and beautiful, like myself, is yeah. to be out and people to tell you you're hot and beautiful. You'd be hot and beautiful. You know? And then feel say I'm not at all. I love not the way we, we we turned the conversation on to the three of us just saying we just miss yours. That's why we <laughs> <laughs> we just miss looking at ours inside the pub. Fix <laughs> it. <laughs> I, I think you'll be back playing. And Do you I, know what I, I really miss? Genuinely, I tell you what I genuinely miss. Go on. And this may sound a bit silly now, but <laughs> I really miss plugging in my pedals, my, <laughs> my guitar gear. Yeah. And Thanks for translating for the non lovely just the non musicians. Getting my sound and going, there it is. Right. Boom, I'm ready to rock. Yeah. Yeah. That's now, what I miss. It might have taken you about five, uh, 10, 15, 20 minutes to do it. 20 <laughs> runs because <laughs> yeah. someone had to go back and get something I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I got better. Got I got better towards the end. No, no, but and the one thing about the tabby sound, lads, is tis the tabby sound. I always said no one that I've ever gigged with sounded like you sounded like, and that was both in what you sounded like in your gear and also how you played as well. Ah. Mm. I wonder do you still have it if you came back into it now. If I asked oh, you, oh, just to imagine go, that I'd be like uh, man, imagine, space cowboys. <laughs> but imagine all of us, the four of us, because we were supposed to do a gig here in Anderson's for a live stream, right? Fair play yeah. to Anderson's Men's Event Center. Big old sexy sponsor of the show. They, we were supposed to do it here. We would have been rough, bad as fuck if oh, we, we had to go back in. We would have been rough as a bag of cats. Like. Man, I haven't picked up a bass in I don't know how long. Like, yeah. I don't, um, and I couldn't play it in the first place. Like, what am I supposed <laughs> well, to we do? Were, well, the thing was, we were playing so much at one point. We had calluses on our fingers. You could knock on the front door with your finger. <laughs> <laughs> Duck, you, know, duck, duck. Yeah, you know, there was a boy in Castle right? I can't remember his name, and I think he's dead now. If he is, Lord rest him, fair play to him. He, he played guitar, but he was blind, right? Mm -hmm. And he he played guitar for so long and so many gigs that he couldn't read Braille anymore because the top of his fingers were so... Well, I have that problem with... Uh, come here. I'm so glad you brought this up. <laughs> right, okay. What? Right, anytime Why? I go to use my iPhone, right... Mo loads of the buttons don't work because the, the, fit, the skin on my fingers is so hard is that, recognize that it won't recognise <laughs> my fucking finger and I'm like work you bastard it won't recognise your actual skin as uh, it skin. won't it thinks Tabby's wearing two pairs of gloves oh, it's awful annoying it's yeah, awful annoying that Ray have you any other crack to you because you haven't said uh, anything in 40 uh, minutes I just did conditioning do you enjoy know? this. Yeah, I suppose I'm really a customer of the podcast now. I, I can <laughs> I know how all of you listening there now feel. <laughs> how, Ray, you uh, like this is an interesting question for you. So you're always the guy that's kind of like you're you're kind of like the Swiss Army knife stroke duct tape of all the gigs that happen <laughs> in Sligo. You're the guy that just makes all the shit come together. <laughs> the sound, the lights, the people, everything, the leads, everything. You, it's just when Ray's on the job, everything sound. Yeah. The stress is just gone. Oh, there's a great sense so of relief. So that's what you love to do. So yeah. how do you find it now since you're not getting to do that? I'm very relieved. You're relieved. It's okay, you were I know you were hounded <laughs> up to a point, but do you miss it now, I mean? Um, I do, I suppose, in a way. But see, I've, I'm after discovering something that I never had before, which is just loads of time. <laughs> loads and loads of time. Yeah. And no one interrupts me. <laughs> I can just do it, do it what I wish. I, I have to say, you've adapted quite well to the not being out and about. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry to say it, but this has been probably the best year and a half of, or year of I've ever had anyway. See, it's weird, that's, isn't it? How no, it but that, no, but that's great, though. Because like, even Christmas. I've never had a Christmas like it. Yeah. I, I, was, I, was, I was sprightly. I was awake. I was not hungover all the time. <laughs> yeah. um, I wasn't broke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you actually yeah, had pounds. Do you know, because I think I find, I used to think that going out doing a lot of gigs over Christmas, you'd have extra pound. No, but you'd be paying for the fucking gigs. But I'd be out over, the, yeah, I'd be doing, <laughs> but I'd also be out and be socialising and buying drinks and whatnot. So mm -hmm. really, one just cancelled out the other. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, this was a lovely change this year. But I'm like finding I, your positivity a little sickening now. <laughs> <honest. laughs> yeah, no, I do miss it. I'd like to get back playing. Can you yeah, just be a little honest. bit more negative? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm I, learning this now. I'm actually. <laughs> This whole thing, I don't. This is, you've you've happened across something there now. No. Okay. I don't seem to be able to cope with um, being negative, as in I don't understand the reason to dwell on the negativity. Just call down to me, I'll help you. I know, <laughs> but I've got, this is something in my time off. I've now learned that I struggle um, dwelling or lingering in a yeah. negative state. If I'm in a negative state, my my core. Uh, reaction is to get out of it fast. Yeah. And whatever has to happen, and this comes back to what you said, the Swiss Army knife and the duct tape of gigs. <laughs> is that you farting? No, no it's a chair <laughs> moving, man. Good job at 12 metres apart. <laughs> uh, These aren't condensers, are they? <laughs> <laughs> no, that, was crystal, pick it up. that was crystal clear in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, thought, I thought I farted. That was so clear. But I, 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 I think um, 
Like at the gigs, if something goes wrong at the gig, I'll, I'm desperate to fix it. Do you know, where yeah. others mightn't be so desperate to fix it, they're yeah. actually quite happy to let it all go to well, shite. That's your nature, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so mm. this has been the greatest zen moment of my life because <laughs> all the venues that I would have been working in, like the very one we're in now, Anderson's Tremendous Event Centre, yeah. I would always be perpetually worried that people were in messing it up. Right. At the moment... No one has any reason to mess anything up. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. So, are that you one of these guys that lays out his watches on the on the locker, like <laughs> you know, good watch, going out watch, oh, go yes. to the takeaway watch? Yeah, yeah. Are you one of them? Is. Sure, he has a going, he has a going to the barber T-shirt. Oh, no, oh, wait, no, I have a hierarchy of T-shirts. Oh, come now on. listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> I have oh, a hierarchy no. of T-shirts. I should have known. Right. <laughs> I would tend to buy like, and it always comes in the same way. You buy a new T-shirt, and it's the go, it's a Saturday night going out T-shirt. Right? Right. And you wear it out that first Saturday night and it's unbelievable you look stunning in it. Yeah. I then attempt to wash it, I put it in a dryer and it gets smaller. So then it becomes the going out t shirt, but it's a bit snugger. <laughs> they light the fire before you go out t shirt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. bits and bobs like yeah. that. Yeah. So um so that's the that's the t shirt there, and then I wear the t shirt and then the t shirt gradually slips into day to day wear. Yeah. Do you know? And then at some point then the t shirt slips into um into uh, my haircut t shirt. <laughs> It's the, the t-shirt mind getting the hairs on. Exactly, because I get the hairs on the t-shirt. If you if you if you consign a t-shirt to hair a hair juicy, yeah, that's it. It's finished. Yeah. yeah. Now, sorry, I'm after skipping a step. I didn't realize in my head there. Before it becomes a haircut t-shirt, it's a bed t-shirt. I wear it to bed. Jesus, right. you wear it to bed before you get the hair chapped. No, any yeah, t-shirt because, you wear to bed is over. Yeah, because yeah, I thought that was the last step. No, no, because you can't wear a haircut t-shirt to bed. Because it's still hairs in it. Yeah. You can never wash my hairs out of a t-shirt. Once they have got into a t-shirt, it's there. It's there forever. The like follicles. one of those kind of um, kind of Game of Thrones type of tops. <laughs> yeah, with yeah. all the hairs yeah. just everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It just, it just rock. doesn't work after that. So, so that is. So it's going out day to day bedtime um, haircut. Okay. And so that's you're my t-shirt. Structured like that, Ray. Yeah. But sure, you can't. And, uh, I love getting into this topic, by the way, with, with you. Like you can't. You can't even. Uh, like Ray's house in Chapel Street. Can we don't say you live in Chapel Street, Chad? Well, Chapel Street. <laughs> Your house in Chapel Street, right? Thank you. It, it has been the same since I've known you. With small changes here like and there. Like, you've never changed nothing, like. Nothing. Well, yeah, I do. I got some new cushion covers there about six years ago. Yeah, yeah, but as well as that, if, if they change nothing in the house, you, mm -hmm. you, like, sit down and have a chat about it first, like, we're thinking about changing this one thing, there was we need to discuss it first before we change it, like. There was nothing worse than the, inf and I'll tell you the story, lads, now. <laughs> one of the most scary things that ever happened in Chapel Street in my house was the time Sharon changed the kitchen table. Oh, fuck. Right? Was that dramatic? Right. <laughs> that was. I was away for a short time, the longest time I was away from the house. And when I came back, Sharon, who was living in the house at the time with us, she um, she had taken the, uh, we'll say, the kitchen table from what we call a portrait orientation. Yeah. Right. People will know this from your phones. Yeah. It's the Instagram look. Yeah. And she changed it. <laughs> the Instagram look. She changed it to a landscape picture, which is more so, of a Facebook so picture. So somebody's top half was out of the frame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? the way no. wait, but wait, 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 wait. Right. Did she change the table or just the No, way no, it was... she just moved it. Ah, so, for f no, wait, listen to me. Let me tell you what happened here. Fucking the way the table was, that one of the narrow bits of the rectangle of the table was up against the wall. Okay. And then there were five chairs around the rest of the table, right? So two, two, and one up the top. Yeah. So we had capacity to seat five people if people were to call over for the table. <laughs> right. Right? Okay. Sharon... In her infinite wisdom, when I was gone, decided that she'd turn around and she put um, she put a chair either end and she put two at the front. So now we have, we have four and she pinned the chair in between the table so and the no wall. So there's no function to it. And so there's it no the non-function function that was annoying you. Yeah, it's the non-function. We had lost function. capacity in the table. Like paint, paint the chair on the wall. You might as, as well. Have. To. And I says to her, I says, <laughs> what about if some if a fifth person came in? Say four of us were sitting enjoying tea and a fifth person came in. What, Sharon, if that was you? <laughs> what if that was you? You were that person that came and then in. You had to stand up. Everybody has to get up. We have to move the table out so well, the Sharon can, can get in. I can understand that. I yeah. can understand that. I mean, I can understand that too. Like, but how long ago did this happen? Oh, years. Yeah. So Ray's still talking about no, this. But, like, it was a big but, infamous but, but, the battle, the battle of Chapel Street. But what happened was though, when I came back, because it's a shared house and people uh, listening know from their experiences living in shared houses, you can't just come in and just tell people what to do. So mm. I couldn't come in and go. Move, you move that back now. I'm, but not, in, I'm not but in your mind, in your mind, you had like a kind of a Hitler Hitler <laughs> outfit on, <laughs> and you were like, "Mine, face, 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 face," <laughs> roaring your head off, and everyone I just, was. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I politely um, suggested, said, "Well, do you not think that the fifth chair is somewhat redundant in that particular arrangement?" Yeah. To which Sharon, knowing full well this is bothering me, said, "No, 
It's perfectly fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, it's oh yeah. she was standing up to you. Oh, bike. Sharon knew how to drive me demented. Could so. be worse, Ray. Could be worse. You could have ended up walking into your bedroom and just found a cheer <laughs> in the room. <laughs> <laughs> if you have children, that's what happens, right? What? Oh, I got I have some stories to tell you in a few minutes, guys, about what my daughter's been doing during lockdown. Oh, I love. Well, hold kid. on, we'll get on to Come that on, now. Yeah, yeah. But basically, the way this is, Sharon made me shoe for two weeks, right? And I was my health steadily declined. Oh, yeah, over the course which, of because this bothered me. Yeah. So this is why I suppose lockdown for me at the minute is so nice because everything is in its rightful place. And you're in control of everything, and you can keep an eye and on. I it. suppose, I, yeah, control is a thing, and I, I don't like admitting that. But, but yeah. when you're in control, you don't need to control anything. Yeah. No, that's a fucking, I tell you what he's thinking. That's very good. So when she moved, when she eventually gave in and says, yeah, we can move it back. I was, th- great. Life was back the way it was. I, I could have four of my friends over for tea. And Welcome. everything was fine. And Welcome. everything was fine in the world. Sit. What? Tabby, you sit over there. Ray, uh, Sean, you sit I down. I will tell you where to sit, like. I'm not right. that you bad. Know, you're not, you're not, you don't do that. Oh, no, I don't, I'm not that bad. Okay. People who know me. No doubt O'Reilly was sitting in front of the mirror. Of course. <laughs> Sean likes to sit in front of the mirror just to make sure so the hair never goes out of place. <laughs> the wee bit of moon dust there. Moon dust. <laughs> What's the stuff he doesn't have to wipe? Yeah, moon, moon, moon dust. Moon dust, yeah. Moon dust, yeah. I put it in my ear one night, mammy. We, we hang that stuck in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> it was like... <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't fucking like. Well, it's like Did you use that? You use that stuff on the side, lads. And then the that sweat be pouring out of you, and then that shit. Then the powder combines with the sweat and goes into your eyes, and it's fucking stinging. <laughs> <laughs> I had a funny, funny enough though. I had a fun. I had a similar experience with Duane at a gig <laughs> about a year and a half ago. I think you with were moon off. Or a kitchen table. I was off or on. Similar thing, right? Right. I came in to Lily's. And you know the way I always set up at the wall. Oh, I was off this night, nice, but I heard about this. The, right. bat, the Battle of and Lily's, 2018. Big it one. it drove it made, made me go psychotic. Yeah, <laughs> I came in and he was standing in my place. Yeah, yeah. And was... then he put me over in head record point, <laughs> which is over on the bit where people walking by and farting and falling. And where the it. week before you had told everybody to go. Yeah, you would. So you would direct go everybody to dance. That's why I sent them there because yeah. that's like. That's like, you know what I mean? That's the pass That's the pass to get to the cigarettes in the toilet yeah. Yeah. and all that. And that's where all the, if people are drunk and falling over on top of you. Mm-hmm. So he put you over there? He put me there and then I came in he goes, what's wrong? What's the <laughs> problem? And he, we, we innocent face on him. <laughs> that was the worst part. He's we innocent face and he's we glasses. What's wrong? <laughs> and inside I was just seething. <laughs> I was like, I'll talk to you after. <laughs> <laughs> and did you play the gig that night in I that position? I did, yeah, and I hated it. Yeah, I was gone that time. Oh, but what I, and I wouldn't mind. I had two friends come over from America, and they were in Tabby. We're going to come down and see you that night, man. It's going to be great. We're, we're going to fuck. We're going to rock out, man. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> Stand them right in fucking front of me in the worst position ever. <laughs> People yeah. fall, and just because the guitar sounded totally different over there. Yeah, mm. everything was different. Yeah, <laughs> and it drove me mental. And that's because we do that gig every week as well. Like, so you're and we just thing. everybody plugs in like Lego. Yeah, yeah, Everyone yeah. clicks in yeah. to their position because it's such a tight space. Now you know what it feels like for Dwayne though to be over in that. Corner. I do, and actually, <laughs> I no, I did. I apologized to him. In my heart. <laughs> <laughs> the best place to apologise. I apologise to him at home that night. I was old. unreasonable and he didn't deserve it that night. But that was probably one of my only straps. Do you ever get vexed like that? Do you get vexed like that at any other gigs? Because I've never seen you vexed like, you know? I'm not really a vexed type person. There's a couple of things that'll vex me. Like one night we're in McGarrigal's. Yeah. This is a true story. Right. right. And I don't know if you remember this. Right. But you know where I used to set up over at the exit door? Yeah. And this guy was sitting there at the round table. And he was farting all fucking night, right? <laughs> I remember this. And he and I, I was like, at one point, I took a breath in, and it just, <laughs> it was a nostril assault, right? <laughs> Singed the hairs of me nose with the smell of it, right? And then I was like, where in the name of God is that smell coming from? <laughs> and I looked around then, and I caught him, right? And you know what he did? He cocked up the arse, right? Oh, with a look pass. of pride in his face. <laughs> And he let out, I, I know, it, listen, Chernobyl. it was that bad. Chernobyl fart. I put down the guitar mm-hmm. and I said, I can't work under these conditions. <laughs> <laughs> right? And I went out for a fag yeah. because I, I was like, right. And I came back in and he did it again and I kneeled down to him. Right. Right? And this is probably one of the only times I've ever done it. I said, if you do that again, I said, I'm going to grab you by the fucking neck. <laughs> I said, and I'm going to fuck you through that window. <laughs> Right? I said, like I'm gonna fuck you. I said, I'm going to fuck you out that window by the throat if you do that again. <laughs> and you know what happened? He sat there and he did it again 10 minutes later. Um, what did you do? I said, here. I looked up at, I think it was Carla working at the time. Here, Carla, 
throw me down two shots there, love. <laughs> because I knew I was going to pull the head off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I remember that nice. Did you buy him a drink? No, I fucking said about three for myself. <laughs> Come Turn around two shots. Here, look, I know something that'll fix that. A good Jaeger bar. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't that. put alcohol near that man, it'd explode. Well, you called them like, you called them Guinness first because we'd, we'd finish a song in McGargan's back in the day, right? Tight spot, like. Mm -hmm. And Tabby'd say, that was fucking, you know, a wee bit of Pink Floyd that time. Come here, lads. I'm just going to say this now. <laughs> Whoever's making the Guinness farts, right? I'm not going to call you out. <laughs> but whoever the fuck it is that you want to stop right now, like, because we can't breathe up in this I, uh, Listen, all what was happening to me in my mind was, uh, you know, Ghostbusters? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was picturing us as Ghostbusters, right? <laughs> But instead of the Ghostbusting guns, we'd have Hoovers that would suck the farts into them. <laughs> <laughs> but for this one, you would want a Dyson level oh, 10. They're in the proton pack of the world, though, that it sucked the farts but out of that place. It, but the farts were bad enough, but the look of pride in their face when they did it. <laughs> like they had just given birth or something. <laughs> it's like someone boxing you into the jaw and then laughing at you while it's you're like on the ground. It's like someone in your pocket, essentially. <laughs> Taking a shite in your pocket. <laughs> In your shirt pocket, because it's closer to your nose, you can oh, smell it. Fuck. Come here, before this, you were on about uh, your daughter, Afria, who, who I, I've met on a couple of occasions, who is Tabby's daughter. Like, there is no way, you don't have to do a DNA test, like, there's, mm. she is your daughter, like. Well, I went into, um, Why was I went into my the room there two weeks ago, and I found, she decided to do a clear out of her room. Right. Okay. So I found about 1,100 objects in my room. <laughs> She decided I needed them. Yeah, all right, okay. I needed a mirror, right, right. with little LED lights on it, right? <laughs> the only part thing was it was broke. <laughs> so none of the lights worked, and the frame was hanging off the mirror. I well, needed that, you, that is what you needed. I also mirror. needed six of her jackets <laughs> in a bag. <laughs> About eight pairs of old shoes that were too small for her. <laughs> okay. And a locker. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Another day I found her, I came down, she was spraying... She went into town, bought herself a can of white spray. She was about 12 at the time. Right? Yes. Bought herself a can of white furniture spray, took her dresser down, and started spraying it in the kitchen. I came out and nearly fucking choked. <laughs> Sean O'Reilly did exactly the same thing two weeks ago, my right. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Inside. There's no, not inside. He did it just outside the back door. Oh. But there was now a locker shaped square in white on the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> and we said it was like, did you not put on the down? Jesus, I didn't think anything had hit the ground. It was only a little <laughs> oh, light dust. That's fucking. Sorry, no, I do find myself. I'm throwing the hand up here. Another question. All right, yeah, go ahead. lads. Have you heard of a thing called journaling? What? Journaling. Yeah, as I in have. like writing down your daily thoughts. I did I it for two days. <laughs> did you? Yeah. I can't sit still. Listen, I'm one of these guys. That I, I like. I really wanted to meditate. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I sat for, I'd get about two minutes in and just, my head would be, yeah. <laughs> a million voices going off in my uh, brain. I'm the same as you. I, I, I can't let my head sit idle for that amount of time. Because can't do it. I'll, I'll end up losing it with myself. I'll end up boxing myself <laughs> into the jaw. Uh, well, you know in your question, Ray, with journaling, right? Yeah. Here's an interesting question. Do you find in the last couple of years that your handwriting has gone terrible? Oh, oh yeah. Hieroglyphs. To, to bits. Right? We're <laughs> like sending Ogham. We're sending <laughs> stuff around now because of uh, the Patreon. We're sending people special gifts, patreon.com forward slash Kendi Rabel podcast. And I have to handwrite stuff on it, like even just addresses and stuff. I thought Nicola did all that. No, I, I started handwriting the address on the front of it. Lads, you'd swear I was a two year old with a pack of crayons. <laughs> yeah. It's so bad. It's embarrassing. Isn't yeah, it? isn't it? It's awful. Like, yeah. calligraphy is dead, Ray. It is. Like, we, I, I mean, I don't know how it is for you. You do one of those arty ones with just a squiggle with a dot after. <laughs> hey, you want to see my signature? It doesn't make any sense, like. There's no, you can't say, they oh, say that's intelligent bad, people have terrible handwriting. No, well, I must be fucking 600 points in the leaving circuit. Right. Because <laughs> mine is fucking, mine is dog shit. Yeah, dog. mine's terrible too, yeah. actually. Mine is. i tell you a funny story. Uh, last week on Facebook, I was going down through uh, timeline, just flicking through, as you do, bored out of my head, looking for someone to argue with over some <laughs> existential <laughs> issue that has nothing to do with my life, but <laughs> yes. I can attach myself to and yeah. extrapolate yeah. all the virtue that comes with it. Yeah. Yeah. Fair point. And then I can get loads of people comment and go, oh, thank you for saying this. <laughs> Stunningly brave, hon. Yeah. Can I PM you, hon? Yeah. Um, but I seen this guy had written a, a post. His wife lost, I don't know, his money, like 70 euro, and lost some really important paperwork right and she had lost it or whatever uh, in town somewhere and then a couple of weeks later it ended up coming through a letterbox and she's like what the f how did that happen but there was a note with it so i'm flicking down the next thing i see this note and i went fuck that's weird and i was looking at the handwriting and i was like i know that handwriting 
And I wrote at the bottom of it, geez, that looks like my mother's handwriting. Turns yeah. out it was my mother. No <laughs> fucking my way. mother had found this stuff, wrote a note, but my mother's like, she's terrible handwriting, just like me <laughs> too. <laughs> That's how I knew. No way. You yeah. recognize the handwriting. Because no. it's fucking handwriting. So your mother had found this stuff and sent it back to the woman with yeah, a handwritten with a note. note saying, I found I, this stuff. I hope it's uh, got the right address and her money. And she was delighted, obviously. Yeah, your mother's an angel, man. But I couldn't believe I knew her handwriting, That man. is so mental. I wouldn't even know my own handwriting. I don't know my own. Well, <laughs> no I do because it's terrible. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, I'd know my handwriting in as far as I'd say that must be the handwriting of a six-year-old. So it must be mine. You yeah, constantly I mean? criticize. But it makes you yeah. think, though, because all the time you're using your thumbs on a keypad or whatever or on a screen, mm -hmm. that people, that part of your brain, I don't know what part of it is, the majestigious, marauders, <laughs> mercocious. That's the one. That's that bit job. of the brain yeah. mm -hmm. that responsible for handwriting <laughs> obviously is going to be, well, you've got uh, new, uh, what's called neuroplasticity in your brain. Yeah. And you've got neural pathways that develop from re repetitive things. So if you stop writing, mm -hmm. that's bound to have an effect on that part yeah, of your yeah, brain. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so, it, and then that part's going to have an effect on another part. Yeah, yeah. That's the practice makes permanent part, like, you know what I mean? That it just becomes second nature to you. Like, mm. I wouldn't know where to start now. If I had to write like two or three pages, remember like when you were doing the leave insert and all that, and you'd have oh, to write reams and reams, the history exam, you'd write 12 pages. pages. Jesus Christ. I, my hand would fall off, I'd say, now. If oh, I had yeah, to do you that, get, like, like uh, in your thumb. Oh, man, I, I get cramp. it here, though. I do find out that if I, when I'm writing stuff, right, but cramp in here on the bottom of me love, lads. Yeah, so Jesus to answer Christ. your question, Ray, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Um, mm. No, it is a good idea, and I have heard of a lot of people doing this, journaling. I've yeah. heard of, and I've heard very positive things about it. I think it's just too... When you journal something, you bring it out into the ether, you physicalize it. It's yeah. journaling right. just writing shit down that you're thinking. Yeah, but you, it's supposed to then, it's supposed to amalgamate within yourself as a thing as a, as a, and as a purpose. Yeah, you bring it out. It's, it's an acknowledgement. I can't be acknowledging anything about what's abroad inside me right now. Because I don't know what will come out. So mm. what I do instead is I, I just play PlayStation and watch 10 hours of Netflix. Because, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because then I, I'm not letting any of that stuff out because I don't know what's going to come out like. If I, I just tackle the big existential issues. <laughs> yeah, on, on the Facebook. If I let Kendi materialise, like, I don't know what he's going to be like. He could be a know. wanker. He could be a terrible so person. So are you, are you kind of controlling yourself, so? Yeah, I'm controlling myself with PlayStation and Netflix. Like, I go to bed every night watching TV, right? Yeah. And I've been thinking about this lately. The reason I do it is because I don't want to lie idle with my own thoughts. It's my biggest fear. Jesus. Is to lie idle with my own thoughts because I don't know what I'll do with myself. So do you, would you say you really know you? No, I don't know me at all. Oh. And thank God, I don't want to find out that I'm a prick. That's my <laughs> biggest worry, like... So I'll watch television instead to make sure that I don't think about it. Okay. That's why I like the old brain. That keeps you in an old kind of a enough to do this, enough yeah. to do that. Yeah, yeah. No very, point going away off into the big. No, no. I have a very simple outlook. Like tip away and get through the days. If you die on one of them, what about us? No, well, you, as far as you were concerned, you were sound. Well, I mean, but I am. That's what I'm saying. I'm maintaining my soundness. Okay. Are you doing it, Ray? What? Are you doing it? Is that what you're asking? No, no. I just, I, I said, um, I just, I seen it on the TikTok. All right. You know? Yeah, well, young ones will be big into that journaling thing. like, And, I mean, if it becomes a trend, then it's just going to take off for but a week or two. every video that they put up is is um, the young one um, videos, little snippets of her day, right? right. And it's it's like, I got up, I made a coffee, I lit some candles, um, and Tabby, like will, be, Tabby yeah. will be able to um, throw in some big words here about what they were trying to manifest. Well, what they were doing was they were just basically promoting their superfluous movements throughout the yeah. day. Yeah, yeah, and then you sat down then with the journal. You take a pic, a little video of the journal, and about you know, about you starting to write in the journal. And I just couldn't understand what everybody was writing about. Oh, okay, so now I know what this is. Then the, it is nothing to do with journaling, though. It is to do with a trend on TikTok, and I'm going to video myself doing this the same way they'll walk up in Bulbin and take a picture of the arse. It's yeah. the, I yeah. video myself doing this journal. But because are they go feed uh, or the old? Uh, uh, do you know what actually sickens me? Uh, it's totally off the topic, <laughs> but people have video themselves. You know, going up to a homeless person, giving them something. Oh. Pity but people who video it. Drives me mad. There's YouTube channels based on that. It's 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 it's, it's the YouTube, it's the normal person's equivalent of um the politician shaking hands with someone like oh, it's, uh, it's you're yeah. just going, Am I on the camera there? I'm gonna give him that fiver. That's another hundred thousand views. Yeah. That's yeah. what that is. Like. Well, for me for me, you know, lads, you know I, I okay, so I you know, I like I have my own personal faith or whatever. And part of my kind of faith is that you know that's where i think christianity has a lot to offer because you're supposed to do those things and just not mention it yeah 
You're not supposed to let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. And now it's like, look at me, everyone. I'm feeding I'm feeding this homeless drunk guy here. Come here, let me give you a hug. Yeah. Here's ten euros. <laughs> Here's a pat in the head. Yeah. Like it's so patronizing. Yeah, it is. And I mean, like the you you are supposed to feel self worth when you do stuff and, and self praise when you feel stuff, but that doesn't mean you need to tell a hundred thousand people on fucking TikTok that you did it like. What about when the likes of Ronan Keaton gets up and, and sings the smile on your face with some young one that's busking out in the streets of Galway? That's beautiful. Is that similar? That's beautiful. I think that's lovely. I think that's I, beautiful, right? I think that's lovely. I once that's how I met Kendi. <laughs> <laughs> he was busking on the street one day. I was going by. I was, was all my in X Factor days, feeling yeah. great about myself. Yeah. Loaded. Didn't have to spend anything because I got everything for nothing. <laughs> he didn't give you any money to buy. I was busking. <laughs> He said, I can't fucking afford a better singer song. I can't buy Kendi then, and I says, uh, says I, Kendi, how are you keeping? How are you doing? He had a real country accent at that time. <laughs> yeah. He's more Sligo sounder now, but he was really, how are you doing? How are things? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so but, to get back to your journaling thing, where were we? Yeah, we're fucking around in circles here. Uh, I think you answered my journaling question. Well, well. It's I, just I, I, I can't understand why they have to light multiple candles to, I think, to promote Ray, the journaling. Per personally, what I think about that is that's a replacement for healthy social interaction. Okay. Because what people used to do was sit down and talk about things. Yeah. Mary would go down to Marta. How are you doing, Marta? Oh, oh Mary, how are you doing? Oh, you wouldn't believe this now. We're hearing a biblical yesterday. story as we speak. <laughs> no, and they'd be chatting away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Yeah. Go away out of that. Oh, you're joking me. Oh, what she did? And she came in there and she did two shoes on her and I couldn't yeah. believe it. <laughs> and that was their version. Now now it's kind of like, I'm going to like intellectualize my feelings yeah. and my thoughts. Uh, there, it's probably a good thing. I'm sure Maybe. I think in the long run it probably is a good thing. So it's, be... it's fucking hard for people uh, like us to uh, see it. That's the real problem. Is that I look at it and I, I, I immediately see it as disingenuous. Maybe it's fucking nasty. Would you, for the next, we'll say, 30 days, Take on this new mantra now and take cold showers in the morning when you get up. I'll take cold showers, man. I and, 100%. And then try and get to know Kendi. Get to know myself. Mm. But this is what I'm saying, Ray. What if I turn out to be like a serial killer? But should we still love you? Even if I'm killing boys around the place? No, we won't love <laughs> you in the boys. way you're normally used to. We <laughs> probably, yeah, I know. You know, we move you back to Castle Ray and <laughs> <laughs> to a specific spot. Yeah, there's a good spot in Castle Ray for people oh, like me. Handy. If that happens. handy. It's, it's down beside you. Like Tell it's me, would, you, would you know yourself? But I know myself. Uh, I'd have an idea. Well, yeah, I, I probably one of those brains like that's going all the time. Where I like Dwayne used to slag me because he like he say like all your songs are all why why this why that <laughs> why the other. <laughs> so I would be a question asker, you know. But you know what, Ray? I'm going to be really honest here. I've been guilty myself the last couple of years of getting really just worked up and charged about about you know online stuff, politics, mm -hmm. culture. Getting into arguments, arouse with people over it. I've fallen out with a lot of people over it just because I don't agree with them. And, you know, I'd be standing there, like, in my mind going, look at that fucking idiot over there with his fucking stupid opinion. <laughs> and one day I just realized, hold on a minute. I am that agent. <laughs> <laughs> I am him. Yeah. I'm talking to me here. Yeah, well, you both feel that way. That's the problem nowadays. Of course you do. It's, it's the two sides. Of course yeah. you do, yeah. 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 So, and you know, that's about... I think if you could do that much introspection, I think that's that's, that's, that's getting all you, there. That's all you need. Like, yeah, yeah. it's easy for look. Take uh, take the Buddha, not Buddha, but take one of uh, the Dalai Lama. Right. Okay. It's easy to be introspective like mm. that when you're sitting on top of a mountain, dinging a bell, and drinking tea. <laughs> right. Give him five children and put him in a council estate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and give him enough money to feed three of them. And you'll find out how spiritual he is That's very quick. That's a serious Channel 4 yeah. idea there now. You'll this, find out this week very Channel quickly 4. how you'll spiritual he is. You'll find out how the Dalai Lama gets on <laughs> in a council estate yeah. in Lincolnshire. Yeah. But, but, but in truth, right, I think the mother, the mother who's like that, who has four or five kids, has only got enough money to look after three of them properly. Mm -hmm. And she still manages to bring the young fella down to his football. Yeah. Or manages to bring daughter into her little dance class. That's real introspection. That's real spiritual. You know, none of this Fox online bullshit. I couldn't agree more. I think that's a beautiful thing that you just said, honestly. Yeah. I think that we're all living it within ourselves, like, to, and everyone's just trying to get by, man. That's, that's all, all that's it is. All, and most people and like, at the end are of good the, people. Yeah, at, at the end of the day, I think we all hold the same morality, I think, probably, regardless of how we're thinking. We do. The only difference is there's a lot of virtue vanity now. Yeah, that's a huge, that's a huge virtue thing. Virtue vanity, where people choose virtue over truth. Yeah, but you know, I, I, um, my feeling on that is, is that those people that you're on about live online and they don't represent every they don't. everyone else. They you don't. know what I mean? Yeah, in well, real, in the real world. In the real world, most of us, no one's doing that. Just most them. people I've met, and it doesn't matter where they're from, who they are, 
where they come from are good people. No, that's fucking. I tell you what, I Just can't think of a better way to finish. Well, we can't finish. <laughs> Why? Because we have to talk to one other fella. All we do is right. Sorry, no fucking hell. Listen, uh, he's out the back. We're going to call him in. Buzzy, hey, Buzz. Thank you very much, Tabby. By the way, for thanks, thanks very for much, Tabby, no for coming in and joining us today. Uh, we'll chat we have soon. we have a bigger man coming in now. <laughs> Our things. <laughs> All right, so the last time we talked to you, Buzzy, by the way, sit down there. The last time we talked to you, you were telling us that beetroot was going to find the cure to COVID. Do you remember beetroot? <laughs> oh my, well, my, 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 where do I begin? <laughs> beetroot, I forgot about him. It didn't work, did it? It didn't You're work. I, I, I tell you, it was a great idea, but it was way ahead of its time. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, how's it going without the gigs, Buzz? It's been a long time, bye. Oh, I tell you, it's not... Um, it's been hard. Right. It's been very hard. Done a lot of introspection. Been doing a bit of journaling. <laughs> Five or six pages a day. Right. Getting me feeling. How do you feel, Buzzy? How do you feel about this? Right. So I'm asking myself. Yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> I get up in the morning, look in the mirror and say, how are you doing? <laughs> right, okay. And I take it from there. That's a, a go about your day. Well, today you know wrote a couple of powerful things. Right. right. <clears throat> and I think everyone needs to get their head around this. Right. Sometimes... The wind is windy. <laughs> right. Other times, the water can be wet. Right. And that's just the way it is. <laughs> okay. Right, okay. If you accept that, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, you've obviously everything is a blessing after that. So you've obviously accepted the whole COVID thing and the not gigging and the, the fans not going to... COVID hit me hard. I was expanding the business. Right. <laughs> We'd gone... i tell you where I was. Starting off the business, Cartron. Right. <laughs> expanding all the way to Avondale. Oh, right, okay. Up the hill. Right. Into town, yeah. right over all the way up to Marrowboy. Right. And we were just moving out to Strand Hill Road. I was <laughs> going to get a couple of the rich ones out there. What was the business? <laughs> it was my new business. Oh. It was me. I, I, I don't want to go into it now. <laughs> right. I couldn't even tell the people who was going to be my customers. I said, it's going to be massive. <laughs> I just said, sign up. And things is going to change. <laughs> I'm going to, it's going to be, it's going to be a, re- a, a, a buzz solution. <laughs> So basically what you're saying is the people that you were approaching in this, you were just telling them, look, this is going to be massive. Yeah. It's going to be unbelievable. Yeah. And and just to sign up and you'd be in touch. Uh, sign up. Yeah. Put your name down. Yeah. Take that risk. Right. Life is about risks. <laughs> Take the risk. Right. Yeah. And it was going to, it's going to be a huge surprise. Yeah. Right. right? Uh, Can I, I ask you, did, did you know what it was going to be though? I had a green idea in my mind. Right, okay. I was developing it at the time. Right. And the COVID came. Right. And once the COVID came, then it was over. Right. Because there was an awful lot of negativity around the place. And I'm all about positivity. <laughs> right, I, uh, you know what I mean? I put the being buzzy. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I've always said that about myself. You did. <laughs> <laughs> and come here, did any of the, the people that you signed up, did they, they were the auntie here, once they, you realised the idea wouldn't work with the COVID, had there to get back There must have been a problem you? with the mailing service because I didn't hear that from them. <laughs> oh, right, okay. I had nine people. <laughs> and we were going to expand. Right. I think it was a conspiracy, to be honest with you. Right, fuck. That COVID happened to stop your knew, business. Was, they, they knew once Buzzy does something, he's, it's going to fly after that. Yeah. I have to ask you, Buzzy, would you be mad now for wearing a mask when you go down the shop? Um... Because that kind of would be contravening. Like, you like to be recognised, do you not? No, funny enough, in the last couple of years, I just find the attention a bit too much. Okay, so, so mask I like the masks. Right. The only thing is, I just don't like him. Um, I don't like the spots they give me. <laughs> mask give me these spots. It gives you mask Ma- yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Maskiny. Maskiny. Maskiny, is that what you call it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I don't like that. And it makes me feel... I kind of be... I, I would be a wee bit maskophobic. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> But what I started doing was, I figured out, right? Yeah. If you put the mask on, and you just put it below your mouth, <laughs> you still look like you have a mask on. <laughs> <laughs> but you can go out your business and no one see it in there. Right, right okay. So you're nearly there. Wear it on your chin. You just wear it in the chin. Anyone yeah. comes over, you just do that with your chin. <laughs> flick it up. Can you have you a question there? I cut across you there today. Well, look, the one thing I want to know is, right? And we we'll leave it at this one if you want now. I want to know is that the vaccinations come in, they vaccinated 6 million people abroad in Ireland. Is Buzzy going to be back then, finally? Because we've been hearing about Buzzy what? being back for the last two years. Ask him a big question. Is Buzzy going to take the vaccination? <gasps> well, I plead the fifth on that. Is that okay? <laughs> because <laughs> I tell you, I ain't just a bit funny like that. I don't want it messing with me magic. My right. magic is all about me humility, <laughs> me, me, me gifts, right. me talents, 
All those wee things come together. Yeah. And then I, what I do is I try and put it together in a package that can appeal to people. Yeah. Right. To answer your question, I'll say no, but if they say I can't get ginks, yeah. I'll have to. Right. <laughs> Right. Although if, if anyone's listening from the HSC or anything like that, if you want me to come on and do a campaign to promote the vaccine, because I have a new album coming out very soon, <laughs> we can make the whole thing work. Have you? Have you? Yeah. What's the, one? What's the album about? What's it called? When, do you remember how I had I'll See You There? Yeah. <laughs> then I had i am Definitely See You There. Yeah. yeah. Well, with the lockdowns and everything now, it's just, I'm going to call it, sure look, we'll see what happens. <laughs> 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 well, look. That's all we need to know. Buzzy, fair play to you for See coming you no in, more. man. And thanks for wearing the mask under your chin as well. It makes us all feel very, very safe. Thank you, Buzzy. <laughs> You're very good. Listen, a big fair play to everyone out there. Don't forget, patreon.com forward slash the Kenji Rainbow podcast. Forward slash Tabby. Go on. Forward <laughs> slash Tabby. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, and Tabby's after joining us again there. Yeah, Buzzy I'm back. Yeah, Buzzy, he, I just see he's gone out in a bad mood. Say something to him. I think he was vexed about the fucking mask questions. But Buzzy, look, it is what you it put is. put him on the spot, did you? Ah, he'll be buzzing back again next week. Yeah, Don't be yeah. worrying about it. Listen, Ray, fair play to me. Oh, fair play to me. Fair play to me. Good luck. Good luck.